This is the Texas State Cemetery in East Austin, and like a lot of other famous Texans, George W. Bush has a reservation. President Bush is here, and Laura is reserved. Right next to him. Who else we have around here? Got uh, right on the other side is Rick Perry from this area here. P. So this is 2T1. So this will be President Bush will have, and his wife will have those two spots. The Bush plots are on the cemetery's Republic Hill, a space reserved now for the state's most illustrious leaders. It wasn't always so exclusive. Well, who's in the Navy? We have Mr. Potter here. Tell me about Robert Potter. Well, Robert Potter is the uh, first secretary of the Navy, the Republic of Texas. Came here yeah. from North Carolina? North Carolina. Colorful career in North Carolina? <laughs> a colorful career in North Carolina in uh, several ways. Yes, he did. He got in trouble for, uh, yes, maiming a cousin and, and a preacher. And uh, also he got in trouble for, uh, um, I guess it was cheating at cards. It could have been some, some other stuff that he did, but... Also near the Bush plots is a grave of Edmund Davis, a Union general who became Texas governor during Reconstruction. Mr. Uh, Davis's family, they thought a lot of him, didn't they? <laughs> His family did, yes. Most of the Texans did not think much of him. Uh -huh. yeah. He's got the tallest one at the cemetery. This is the tallest one? Yes, 31 and a half feet tall. So if President Bush was to be buried here, he'd be overshadowed by the Reconstruction <laughs> governor? Well, no, because the, 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 you know, if we judge by when the sun comes up, I guess, or when the sun goes down, I guess, he wouldn't be overshadowed. I guess he chose it because of this tree. Harry will be here. Right. And Bush would be right next to him. Right. Yeah, where's this, Navasota and 8th we are at the corner of here? Yeah, Navasota and 8th, yeah. Right by the gate. Fairly simple for a presidential burial ground if it's to happen. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. But it may never happen. No final plans have been made for Bush's final resting place, and Scott Sayers, the chairman of the cemetery committee, says he wants to talk to the ex-president about perhaps picking out a different spot in the cemetery. There's also the possibility that Bush will sign on to the recent trend and opt to be buried at his presidential library. Until a decision is made, Bush's reservation for this spot in the state cemetery is still being held.